In the remaining month of my service as presiding officer, I am hoping to assist this body to focus on issues affecting the cost and the sustainability of county government. There are factors that make county government as expensive as it is that are outside of our control. Among these are rising enrollment growth in our schools, state mandates including maintenance of effort and the shift of pension obligations to the counties, and the U.S. Supreme Court's decision in the Wynn versus Comptroller case. But there are factors that are within our control. We have the responsibility to fund programs, projects, and services, compensation and benefits for employees, and the size of our workforce. County Executive Leggett has announced that he intends to seek a tax increase in the spring in excess of the charter limit. I do not want to vote for a tax increase just to maintain the status quo. It is my hope that we can take our responsibility seriously to evaluate the status quo and to see whether there are adjustments and revisions that are appropriate. In this context, I asked the Office of Legislative Oversight to study one piece of our very large compensation picture. I don't want to make more of this than it is, but I do believe it is appropriate for us as the oversight body to ask whether the compensation we are providing is appropriate and necessary to attract the very best and brightest talent. I have deep admiration for our department directors and the public servants who serve as managers. Many of our department directors are among the very best in the United States, and that's as it should be. But the data identified by the Office of Legislative Oversight suggests that we have drifted into paying more than we need to pay. The OLO report compiles data from 10 jurisdictions in the Washington Baltimore region and 14 high cost jurisdictions outside this area. OLO found that among 20 local governments and two federal classifications, Montgomery County had the third highest average salary for director positions, an average salary of 206,685. Montgomery County's average director salary was 15.6% higher than the combined average for jurisdictions in this group. Over and over when the County Council has been asked to confirm question A positions and department directors, I've asked whether such high compensation was really necessary. And the response has always been we need to pay these salaries to compete with other jurisdictions and the federal government. The data from OLO suggest that we have drifted too far in that direction. It is our responsibility as elected officials to be tough negotiators on behalf of the taxpayers. I acknowledge that this is a very small piece of our overall budget picture, but I do believe that it merits attention I will have some suggestions for legislative action in this area. I will coordinate, of course, very closely with my friend and colleague, the chair of the Gov Government Operations Committee. But I appreciate, as always, the good work of OLO, which always follows the facts wherever they lead. This report is solely intended to evaluate and to provide benchmarking. This is an appropriate exercise for the legislative body to undertake. 